All right, everybody, we're over in Anping. Today we're gonna check out the uh, Tate & Company treehouse. There's a older merchant house and a old street as well. Tainan is actually the oldest in the city, so it's likely the oldest in Taiwan as well. So the story behind the treehouse is that in 1858, uh, the Anping area of Tainan was opened as an international trading port. So Tate and Company came in and they set up a warehouse and office and things like that, and eventually it became abandoned and the buy-in trees overtook the warehouse. Now it has a really cool look with the trees intertwining the infrastructure of the warehouse and all that, so it became a tourist spot. Anita's grabbing tickets right now. Uh, I think she's free, but I gotta pay. <laughs> so yeah, let's go check things out. Cool. We got her ticket, came in the front gate there. Um, I guess it's set up kind of like just, I don't know, like a park. So you go through the entrance gate and then you get access to all the uh, sites. It's about 50 NT, so nothing crazy. Oh, it's really nice. It reminds me of a slightly more modern version of Cambodia. <laughs> you know, the temples and scenery. Got some nice shaded cover. You got the birds chirping in the background. and It's nice and cool, not too hot. Supposedly, there's this really good ice cream place here. It's famous. I need to make a beeline straight for it. Flavor is Tiaguan, which is a tea, a varietal of tea, kind of like oolong. I think it's sweeter than yours. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's like a more sweet version. But yeah, I think that's just like regular ice cream with maybe some caramel in it. Well, all right. <laughs> It's like on your feet and stuff. <laughs> Like the best way to make use of this tree house is you know just kind of treat it like a park just kind of roam around if you want to get outside and not melt in the heat <laughs> oh, this thing you can do it Anita was just explaining that originally this house here, the Tate & Company Merchant House, it had a bunch of wax figurines like depicting life in that time or something like that. But now it's completely gone and it's switched into a museum. Uh, so yeah, she's a little disappointed. Wow, wow. <laughs> There's an interesting travel point that I like to mention a lot because there's always a time to visit some place, you know? Um, you know, like the ancient relics and, you know, cathedrals and chateaus, yeah, they'll, they'll be there, but the vibe of a city, the feel of a city, you know, that, that can definitely change over time. The moral of the story is things change fast, so get out there. That about does it for the Tate & Company Merchant House and Treehouse. 
Now we're gonna head over to the old street. So it seems like your typical walking street in Taiwan. Snacks and goods. <laughs> Cruising alongside of the Dutch fort. Um, not really sure if this is actually the old street yet, but um, we're walking in that direction. Uh, it's a nice walk, it's all tree lined, so it's not terrible. We found the old street, thank you Google Maps. Um, <laughs> you know you found foodie paradise when you can smell that stinky tofu. <laughs> yeah, so everything's pretty walkable. I mean, it's only a few minutes in either direction and you can get to where you need to be. It's pretty standard stuff, you know, if you're a local. <laughs> but for me, I always get a kick out of it. I don't know why. It like reminds me of going to the fair at home or something. It is crowded. It's like full contact walking. Yeah, there's another little street over here we're gonna walk down. Yeah, I'm surprised there's any so many people here. Unping is basically like a five, six minute taxi ride from the center of Tainan. So, Anping is kind of known for shrimp crackers, it's a thing. So there's a lot of little shrimp cracker vendors everywhere. Right, so we're gonna get one. <laughs> it's only 80 NT for a bag. So I'm gonna order winter melon lemon tea. Yeah, I need a drink. <laughs> I drink watermelon. Winter melon. Winter. <laughs> winter lemon tea. Winter melon lemon. Winter. Winter melon. <laughs> Lemon tea. Yes. It's really refreshing because it's like kind of sweet and sour combined. Yeah. A little bitter, a little sweet, a little sour. So when it's hot outside, you want to drink this because it's kind of like a Chinese medicine thing. It'll, it'll, it's designed to lower the. The, uh, the heat in the body, so to speak. So I usually go for one of these on a hot day, except sometimes they have a lot of sugar, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> so usually on streets like this, the vendors just have no shame. They'll be like sticking stuff in your face while you're, you know, <laughs> trying, trying to do a video, <laughs> yelling at you about their hot sauce, you know. It's kind of funny, but also annoying. <laughs> the Anping area is really known for dried fruits. Um, and dehydrated fruits and things like that. So there's a lot of stands here that will sell those things um, in addition to the shrimp crackers that you'll see a lot of. So yeah, if you're rolling down this area, those, those are kind of the two things to try and you can probably get away with just sampling it too if, uh, if you're really into that. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the uh, walking tour of the Amping area. See you next time. Thank you.